What's up guys? Today I want to talk about using a trampoline, okay? A rebounder, all right? Now, right now, of course, a lot of people are at home a lot and they're watching a lot of shows and TV and whatever, that kind of thing. So if you're doing that, you might as well make the best use of your time and do something active while you're doing that, okay? So with a trampoline, you can, you know, get on there, hop around, and so you can kind of shut your mind off to a large degree and you can watch whatever movie or show you're watching and still get in a little bit of cardio, okay? So it's good cardio, it's good for uh, your uh, endurance, um, it's good for your agility, you know, you can kind of be light in your feet, you know, feeling light. And another thing too is that it helps with uh, the flow of uh, lymphatic fluid, okay? You have double the lymphatic fluid as uh, blood, okay? Twice as much, a lot of people don't realize that, okay? so. Up and down movements like you get a trampoline really helps uh, with that kind of thing, all right? So, first of all, the kind of trampoline you get, um, now, this kind here, I'm going to go here. This kind here, I've, I've got these bungees instead. You can get the spring kind, but I, I, I prefer these. They're, they're quieter, and uh, I think they, they, uh, they probably last longer, too. They, they can't really break. Uh, in time, they can wear out, I guess, but they're not going to break and snap the way uh, metal springs will. Okay, but hey, it can still work, right? No springs can still work. All right. All right, so here we go. So, now there are two ways to use the uh, trampoline. One is to get height, and one is to kind of stay the same height and try to put your feet to the ground. Okay, so if you're going for height, just, just up and down, okay? Up and down. All right, that's all. And you, you can mess around with it. You can go side to side. You can go split your feet. You can twist, okay? That's getting the height, so I'm, I'm getting some elevation here, okay? Another way of doing it, okay, is to try to stay the same height and then try to push your feet through the trampoline, okay? So um, you, you, you could alternate them. So here, see, I'm trying to actually stay the same height, but I'm trying to push my feet through the trampoline. I'm trying, trying to stop it through the mat, through, through the uh, surface here, okay? So in and out. Then I can go for height. So you can alternate it, right? You can even set an interval timer if you want to. Like on the side, you could do 15 or 30 seconds for height, and then do 30 seconds low, right? You can go forwards and backwards, all right, shuffles. You can go in and out. You can do uh, pogo jumps, side to side, diagonal, whatever you want to do, okay? You can even do some jumping jacks if you want to, okay? You know, it's pretty uh, open, whatever you want to do. If you want to do some arm movements, you want to do some boxing combos, whatever, you can do that too, okay? But the main thing to remember is the two major ways. We got height here, and we got putting your feet through the platform, trying to stay as low as you can. All right, and there's your basic uh, 101 on using the trampoline. Um, I'd say any, anywhere from, you know, start with five or 10 minutes, build up, and then build up to the point where you're eventually doing about 30 minutes. I'll tell you, 30 minutes on a trampoline, doing the various types of jumps and things, going back and forth. It's a really good workout. You know, a lot of people who are already in pretty good shape uh, actually have a hard time with it because they're just, just not used to it. Okay? So anyway, it's a, it's a great exercise and it's good to do it. If you're already watching a show, just get off your butt and do something active at the same time. Put it in front of your TV and just do it, okay? And there you go, all right? As you can see, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't have the biggest basement around, but I make the, the best use of it, and it works for me. Okay, so there you go. So go ahead and try that, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, uh, visit my website, www.chriswongfitness.com. I'll talk to you guys soon.